Hey guys, I wanted to jump outside. If you can hear, I'm a little bit under the weather, but it's such a beautiful day today that I decided I'm going to go and collect some seeds that um, have formed from some different flowers um, that I want to package and then just plant them again because I've never done that, so I want to try that. But before I do, I wanted to show you milkweed I planted this year um, to help with monarch butterflies. They really like that. Also, I didn't know, but milkweed is an aphid attractant, and uh, if you need to keep them away from other plants, I highly recommend planting milkweed, <laughs> even in a container or something. Some of these little ones cracked open, and in there, you see the yellow? So there's this like fuzzy stuff that the seeds are attached to, which helps them travel in the wind, but like that yellow end, those are the seeds. So these like seed pods, crack open and then they release their seeds so like here's another one that'll crack open are these like long kind of furry seed pods the only thing I'm looking at is my really tall variety doesn't have a lot of them because like the aphids attacked these plants like crazy and the butterflies ate off of them and you know just different stuff like that but I was just like pulling these out and putting them in the bed so that when I cover it with compost it'll get them ready to open up next year but kind of wanted to wait until like this one is the only one that I see <laughs> that formed one like of the taller variety here so but yeah I thought that was pretty cool how these opened up and then have the seeds inside like here's some more but anyway we're gonna jump up here to my cosmos I have a sensation blend they were really pretty and I planted all the seeds but only some of them came up so we're gonna harvest some seeds. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, maybe it's easier in the shade. The black, well, I think it might be easier if I just pick, pick them out there, but there's like black long seeds in, in each flower pod. And then I'm just gonna collect them. It's a blend of like light pink, white, and like a dark pink. So I'm just gonna collect all of them and go from there. I did throw away a lot of them in the bed already so that they like come up in this bed again. But I did want to collect some because I want to plant them somewhere else next year. So that is what I'm doing. And they're really easy when they're dry. You just kind of smush them together and all the seeds fall off. It does have a lot of like the flower petals too. I don't know if you can see that, but the black is the seeds. And if they're not quite dry enough, you can feel it. They won't let it go. So, still have a couple on here that aren't quite ready. Okay, so just from like five plants, I have like a lot of seeds. That's a whole handful, so. Oh boy, I can get them in there. There, seeds. There's a lot of like other fluff stuff in there but that's all right we'll just plant it with the seeds so here you can see like this one they didn't all like let go so these are still drying out so there's still more seeds that it'll, it'll produce and even like these these aren't even like at that stage yet so there's still more seeds on here oh there's some that I missed so I was just sprinkling them in there and now I'm going to go and do some basil, but this is actually what the blend looks like. 
and I just thought they were really pretty. So I'm going to plant some more somewhere else next year. All right, let's go get some basil. Okay, so I'm out here in the bigger raised garden area, and this is my purple basil. I actually don't know <laughs> what the actual um, variety name is, but I will look it up and try to put that on the screen. But I just saved the whole thing. So like here, you can see these brown strands and all my tomatoes that fell down in the soil. That'll be fun next year. These all have seeds in them. If I take, actually it'd be easier if I just put you up here. Okay. So if I take this strand like that with all these like brown dried up portions and you just pull it off. Um, so inside of these, if you kind of crush them with your fingers, there are seeds and they're like kind of darker colored. Watch, now I'm not going to be able to find any. I just did it because I wanted to see what the seeds look like so I know what I'm looking for. Oh, there's one like that dark seed right there that one that's one of the seeds and you kind of have to really squeeze these little pods and really um, grind them up in your fingers just to make sure you get all of the seeds out but I think what I'm gonna do is just take the entire like pods inside because it's kind of windy today I mean it's not like really windy but and then just do it inside because then I won't lose as many seeds because <laughs> the wind kind of blows them away. You just kind of see if maybe this one has more in them. Yeah, so there's another one. Sometimes they have a lot. So like if I kind of scrape this away, you can kind of see all the little seeds there on my hand. So that's all um, basil seeds. And then I'm just gonna fill a couple bags with just a bunch of the stuff that I can pull off of the sprigs. And then my mom actually wants some too. So I'm just gonna do a bunch of this and um, be able to save a bunch of these seeds. So I just, like I was saying with the Cosmos, I use just these plastic baggies that are Ziploc. And then I just write on the front what it is. So we're just gonna put a bunch of this Highly recommend doing it over soil because if you do drop seeds, they aren't going to waste by just going in the ground. So I'm just going to, I think maybe it's easier if I just go like this. Well, I don't really know. I've never done this before, so we're just going to collect a lot of this, fill a few bags, and then have this basil variety next year. I just thought it was so pretty being purple instead of, you know, green regular variety. And I put it in strawberry lemonade. Oh my goodness. Highly recommend. That was delicious. My little sweet little girl that's still sick. She's finally getting over it a little bit better, but oh, this head cold stuff is just not not a fan it can go away anytime now would be great <laughs> she's just waking up from her nap so i'm gonna try and hurry a little bit here when i was cleaning out these beds i just left this because i knew it was gonna stay dry outside so i can take the seeds out once i get to it and keep them i think seed saving is pretty cool because it's free <laughs> uh, and you can share your varieties. I think that's always fun. Getting to try, you know, somebody else's favorites from their garden. And they gave you seeds for it. I made this one pretty full here. And I'm going to do another one real quick. The birds are so pretty today. They've just been chirping away, which it's like, it's nice. Like it's, feels like the weather that you get at the beginning of fall. That's what it feels like. It doesn't feel like we're in November already, which I'm not complaining over here.
Just fold that bag. I zip it shut here at the bottom. Uh, it's gonna be hard to see on the camera, but there's seeds in there. I can see them already. And yeah, you just kind of crush all of the seed pods and then the little seeds will kind of separate themselves. Could fill this one up a little bit more. There's still a couple on here. All right, I think we're gonna call that good. I was gonna do some borage seeds, but the flowers, I don't know, I'm gonna see if they actually set seeds. The flowers um, froze in the frost, and I don't know if it was able to like actually produce its seed already. So, I don't know. I mean, I can always buy more borage seeds, but. Okay, so here we go. Two purple basil bags and a Cosmo Sensation Blend bag. I am going to show you real quick um, what lavender looks like. My mom asked me for some seeds from my lavender plants. But yeah, again, I apologize. My voice probably sounds really funky when I get a head cold. My voice always sounds really goofy, but you know. Part of the winter. I don't want to say that because we aren't meant to be sick. We are healthy bodies. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to put my stuff up here real quick. Oh, she laid down again. Okay. Jump down here. So up front, I'm pretty sure this is Munstead Lavender, but these little dried um, open pockets, like here, this one broke off. So see if I can show you guys what I mean. So you're just going to take these and just kind of squish them. And inside of them are seeds. And your hands will smell amazing. <laughs> if you like lavender anyways. I love lavenders. So right there are seeds for this lavender. Which I just think that's really cool. How you can uh, take seeds out. So I'm just going to do a couple of these. We're just going to squeeze some of these and get those seeds out of there. I am also going to put them in the ground right by the plant because I want them to keep getting bigger. All right, now I need to go get a bag for this. <laughs> Probably should have done that before I actually started pulling all the things off, but you know, why do that, right? But these are still blooming real pretty. rose hips back here just some fall prettiness <sighs> I do love fall not gonna lie all right let's see here if we can do this without spilling all of my seeds Yep, there's seeds down there at the bottom and in here. That'll be good. Give her a plant or two to start with. I believe it's Munstead Lavender. Perfect. Alrighty. One, two, three, four. How fun. Alrighty guys, just a little seed collecting video um, for you. And if I do more things this fall yet, I'll obviously take you guys along. But thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.